Hey guys, Hub Smash here, and I wanted to go over some of the graphics options I'm using to get a fairly solid 60 plus FPS in XCOM 2. I want to note though that there does appear to be some FPS drop during some of the action cam sequences as well as the real time rendered cutscenes. I don't believe this is related to the system that I'm running it on, but it's a bit early for me to say for sure. At first look, it appears to be minor optimization issues. I personally didn't feel like it negatively impacted gameplay in any way, but thought it was worth mentioning. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. First, my system specs. I'm running an Intel i7-4790K at 4.4 GHz, an Asus Strix GTX 970 with 4 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of system memory at 1600 MHz, and it's installed on a 256 gig SSD. So let's get into the settings then. So I'm running a uh, full screen, which appears to actually be borderless windowed, and you can uh, lock the mouse to the window so that it doesn't go off screen. Uh, I didn't have any issues with this while I was playing, but it's just something to keep in mind. I disabled VSync because I noticed that I was having some menu latency or cursor latency, and there was some delay in selecting items in the menu, so I disabled that. I haven't noticed many issues with screen tearing personally running on a BenQ 144Hz monitor. So for the graphics preset, uh, I'll just run through the settings quick. And essentially this is max with a few a few key areas tuned down. So anti-aliasing, I used FXAA instead of MSAA. You can go two, four, or eight times on the MSAA. You can also disable anti-aliasing entirely. But I went with FXAA because I found it looks a little bit better than MSAA too. And 4 and 8 were performance hogs. For ambient occlusion, I reduced it from SSAO to Tile AO. Um, personally, I don't notice too much of a difference in the fidelity of it. And I'm not really sure what Tile AO is in actuality. But SSAO uh, does do a bit of a performance hit. So if you, if you can, turn that down. Decals, all decals, all shadows maximum maximum now if you have on shadow quality and texture detail if you have a two gig card or less than four gigs you may need to reduce the shadow quality and the texture detail um, i'm not sure if shadow quality also includes the shadow textures in it i imagine it does so it probably takes up more memory so that you may need to do that if you have a two gig card for texture filtering it's anisotropic 16 times depth of field is bokeh I think that's how you pronounce that. Draw distance is high. And then all of the other goodies were turned on. So high res, translucency, bloom, dirty lens, subsurface scattering, and screen space reflections. I regularly had approximately 60 to 70 FPS, but this would drop on occasion that, like I mentioned above, it would drop down to 45 or so in some of the closer and more detailed camera angles. Because these angles, though, are usually cinematic and controlled by the game, the FPS didn't really feel like it dipped that much. It wasn't um, a tactile sensation that you can sometimes get in like a shooter game, for example, when if your FPS drops by half, you're going to feel it. You don't feel it as much in this, so it's not as much of an issue. And during actual gameplay, when you're selecting uh, actions for your, your soldiers, I didn't notice any issues there. If you're interested, I'm starting a playthrough which should be on the channel very soon, and I hope you'll join me as I'm sure to wipe out all of my soldiers because I'm fairly new to this whole series. If you found this video helpful, click that like button. It really helps with the channel. And if you want to see more of the things I make, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and take care. Let's see how you like this.